Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech farm. CD Maker Pro sent me their newest product for the review and this is the Mall CD Scanner. Great small uh, budget scanner with great possibilities. According to the specifications, it has the accuracy of 0.05 mm and 0.1 mm is the resolution. It can be purchased in the three types of the kits, uh, the standard, premium and the luxury. And I can see this is the premium version. This means it will include uh, some small tripod and the third table. Single capture range is 200 by 100 millimeters and the uh, scanning speed is 10 frames per second. This means uh, that approximately 100 by 200 millimeters is one frame which can be scanned with this. Uh, this means we cannot scan uh, too big uh, flat objects because uh, that small frame has to be fused together and it must have some tracking. This means it needs a lot of textures or must have some geometry in this 200 by 100 millimeters. So this means it is good for small or medium sized objects and the minimum size is 15 by 15 by 15 millimeters. The scanning distance is uh, between 150 and 400 millimeters. Now it uses the near infrared light source. This means it is safe for scanning a face. This will be also tested in this video. Text source we can have in the color kit, which is included in the luxury combo. Since this is the premium version, I don't have that kit, but for me it is not important because I want to use it in combination with the CD printing. The textures are useful if we want to use that object in uh, animation, in the blender or something like that. And with Connect, the mall becomes a portable scanner. It, this can be also purchased separately. And if you want to use it in a handhold mode, this is very useful. Because I know from my personal experience that uh, if I connect it with a laptop and I want to do scanning from the handheld mode, I have to always watch that the uh, scanner is pointed to the object, the correct distance, but this distance I have to check on the laptop. So continuously I have to move my head and I have those cables in the way. It is very hard. And uh, with the connected with the smartphone, I don't have that cables and everything I can see on the smartphone which is always pointed to the object. So for handhold scanning I definitely recommend this uh, connect mode because it is much more comfortable for use. Now let's see what's in the box. Oh look at this, very nice. And this is content of the bag, the turntable, the scanning unit, and this is the power adapter. The output is 12 volts and 3 amperes. These are parts for the tripod uh, cable to connect the scanner with the laptop. And this is the micro USB cable for the tripod, user manual, and of course the case. Everything is connected. Uh, for the turntable it can be plugged directly into laptop too, but I just uh, connected with my phone charger. And one thing I don't like so far is this tripod because I saw better solutions with some telescopic so I can adjust the height if I want to scan in different positions because now I can do it maybe just lifting this turntable but currently my cable is not long enough. I need to scan it in lowest position so I remove this part here. This will be my first test object uh, but it is quite small as you can see in X and Y direction it is very close to that minimal recommended size. And I like to test with this because uh, I will do it first in one pass, but usually I cannot see here bottom of the head. And then I will try to scan it in two passes with the rotation and then I hope in the second pass it can uh, record this part here. The software I will use is the JM Studio. And at the beginning we have some instructions so what type of material and uh, what type of the color we can scan. And uh, after this we are entering into the working area. And uh, the first scanning will be in table scan. So first uh, it is the preview of the object. So I have to set the correct position and the distance. And then the initial, which means I have to remove the objects and the turntable will be recorded. And then I have to place back the objects and doing the real scan. And after one rotation, actually it will stop the scanning. And uh, the first scanning is uh, prepared. Mm, this is the first result. As you can see from this view angle, I cannot record the bottom of this object. So I decided to try to add another scan. So this is a scanning in two positions. These are those two scannings uh, and uh, then I can click the align. It will do it automatically and uh, then you can see that I can remove this uh, turntable because it was selected. 
and after the processing this is the final result and uh, now in this case I can see the bottom of these objects too. My next scanning will be this uh, owl. It is CD printed, but I already checked uh, for some reason the scanner don't see it. Is it too shiny or maybe it doesn't like this some kind of green color? So I will use the scanning spray on it and uh, I want this project to be finished because I want to clean it in a mesh mixer and then I want to print it. The scanning was very smooth. Every part of it is uh, visible now for the scanner and after one rotation it starts with the processing the data and uh, after initial the turntable is selected so I can remove it and this is the final result. And this will be exported to STL file and I will try to clean it a little bit in mesh mixer and then print it. This is now the mesh mixer and the uh, only thing I will fix here is the top of these objects to be a little bit uh, smoother. And this is the pressure slicer, I am rotating the object and also I will cut from the bottom 0.6 millimeters to have the flat surface from the bottom and it will have better adhesion. The printing was without any problems, I didn't even have to use the supports here. And let's take a closer look. Uh, first thing I noticed that this one is shorter a little bit and not because I cut 0.6 millimeters from the bottom to get flat surface, but it was cut uh, when uh, I removed the turntable automatically by the software. So it is better if I lift it, uh, so place some kind of coin below the object before the scanning to lift it above the turntable. Uh, from the side it is quite good copy. And uh, from the top I can see more waves here and actually they look better than the original but it is not designed here. Uh, the reason for this is that the scanner was almost 90 degree angle to this surface and it was not uh, scanned correctly. The best would be if I would do a second best from the top and then uh, this surface would be correctly scanned too. But uh, otherwise uh, quite good scanning. And of course I know that this can be downloaded from the Thingiverse too, but I was curious how can we copy this by the scanning. I want to scan this egg holder, but I can see on the screen that it's a little bit too big for the turntable mode. Maybe it would be good if I could lift this scanner higher a little bit, but that's why it would be good to have some kind of uh, telescopic tripod. But I will try to do it in combination with the turntable and the handhold mode. This is speed up 5 times and uh, thanks to a lot of geometry on these objects the tracking was perfect and uh, you will see this result is really great. After the processing uh, I really like this uh, object. Actually if I cut the bottom part this can be used as a real egg holder. This is our old thermometer but uh, it is broken so we bought a, a new one but it arrived without the case so I will try to scan it uh, because it has some kind of incorrect shape it is not so easy for the measuring with the reverse engineering and if I will measure it successfully I will print some kind of case for it. I started with two passes this is the first one and this is the second pass and then I can see there is still one corner which couldn't be scanned correctly and so I give it a third pass too. And after automatic aligning, the result was fantastic. Perfect from any view. And this object I can subtract from some boxes and create a case for it. Another object, this shoe, which is uh, too big for this turntable mode. Uh, so I will use the turntable, but the scanner I will hold in my hand. And I notice, uh, compared to this surface, uh, this black sticker is a little bit hard to see, so I just place just a little bit scanning spray on it. This will be also scanning in one pass. And uh, here you can see the scanning process speed up 10 times and the final result is amazed. I use here the easy scan mode, not the table scan, so that's why I couldn't remove here the automatically the turntable, but I can do it in a slicer if I want to. Anyway, I'm very happy with this result. Now I want to scan this glass. Uh, it doesn't matter that it will not be hollow because I can print this in the waste mode. And I'm curious if these uh, letters will be visible because they stand out from the surface and also this logo on the other side. But it is too transparent and too shiny. So I already checked it is not visible for the scanner. So I will use here this uh, scanning spray. I started with the scanning in one pass and uh, here you can see the scanning process. But unfortunately this don't have enough geometry and it couldn't be scanned correctly. And then I added some objects around it. I learned this trick uh, earlier. And now the scanning process was finished correctly and uh, now even those letters can be visible and even this log on the back side. The top can be cut out uh, to be flat surface and it can be printed in the base mode. 
And it's time for another handhold scanning and you know I volunteer from every scanning video and I want to scan its head only. The position of this cable is not the best, it is always in the way. And it has good grip, it is very comfortable to hold it in my hand. Now even in this mode it must have enough geometry in that view angle. And uh, after I don't know, a few seconds it always lost the tracking, it cannot fuse together those uh, frames. And here you can see my first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt. So somehow after, I don't know, a couple of seconds it just lost the tracking. And yes, this is another failed attempt. And then it came the solution. I notice uh, if I scan only a shorter time, it was uh, scanned correctly, but only part of the face. So this is a scan mostly from the left side, uh, this one is mostly from the front and uh, this one is mostly from the right side and uh, aligning this together which will be done automatically in this case and uh, this result is quite acceptable, this part can be easily removed later and uh, of course uh, this is the best I could get but it requires a lot of uh, processing power and experimenting. And of course I would need at least uh, two more scannings here. I already mentioned that this scanner used uh, near infrared uh, light and this means it is safe for the face. So uh, since I don't have any other help, uh, only my five-year-old daughter, I will scan her face, but uh, usually she has only patience for one of two attempts, so I will just try to scan the front of her face. For the scanning I used a big turntable because the cables would be always in the way. And here you can see my scanning process, uh, even if it has a smaller view angle, the face has enough geometry, so it is tracked correctly. But as I mentioned, only front of the face will be scanned. This is the point cloud and of course uh, with this method I, I couldn't scan the bottom and the top of the face. And this is now the process with automatically filled holes. And uh, yes, this uh, looks quite good. And of course I tried uh, full scanning of the head, but unfortunately she lost the patience and I uh, couldn't finish this part. And now my final thoughts. We already tested several scanners on this channel. For example, Creality's Lizard or Rainbow Point Mini was for really small parts. Their uh, Scan01 or the range are with the bigger uh, view angle for really bigger parts, very comfortable for handheld scanning. Well, this is something between for some kind of mid size objects, and the best results I could get uh, with the objects which can fit on the turntable and can be seen in that one view angle. This means approximately this all size, a little bit below 200 millimeters. If it is a little bit bigger, then I can still use a turntable, but uh, I can use it or in several passes, or I can move it from my hand a little bit up and down to scan the whole objects during that uh, slow rotating. Using in the uh, health on scanning, it is not so comfortable in my case because I have to use that laptop, because I always have to point the scanner to the object, but I also have to follow the correct distance, and this I have to uh, follow up on the laptop screen. So continuously watching two points, not so comfortable. And from my personal experience with other scanners, I know it is much more comfortable the half on scanning if I use it in combination with the smartphone, because everything I can see on that screen on that uh, phone, and it is much more easier for the handheld scanning. You must understand the possibilities. For example, you have to pay attention that the object must have enough geometry in that view angle. For example, I try to scan my chair but uh, since it has two big flat surfaces which couldn't be recorded by the scanner because in that view angle it just don't have enough geometry to put those frames together. Of course don't forget that uh, object must be in scannable material and color. If it is too shiny or interesting some colors somehow it didn't like. In that case you have to use some kind of uh, covering material. I use that uh, vanishing uh, spray, scanning spray, but that's very expensive. The advantage is that it will disappear after a few hours, but if you are able to wash the object after the scanning, in that case you can find some more budget options, I don't know, baby powder or dry shampoo or there are some other solutions too. Another possibility to improve the product is to use some kind of uh, telescopic tripod because with this we can adjust the height and the angle of the scanning and we don't have to use some boxes or supports to change the view angle. The CD Maker Pro have uh, some other scanners too, this is their smallest and cheapest version I think and they mentioned me that maybe there is semi some other products too for the testing, we will see that uh, for the future and if you have some additional experience you know, let me know in the comment section. 
thank you for watching and happy scanning